Good afternoon, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions. Today I'm shooting a video of our 2011 Toyota Sienna. And it's like most of our vehicles, is a mobility and wheelchair accessible van. I'll get right to the conversion. Rear entry, manual ramp and door. Very easy to operate, very low cost to maintain. I can operate this entire conversion, conversion using just two fingers. Clamps here keep the ramp from rattling. That's a great feature to have. Has a handle, driver's side, a handle on the passenger side. I'm going to use the one on the passenger side. Take it to the ground using only my index finger. This ramp is 36 inches wide. It does taper down to 34 inches. It does have eight tie down points, so it'll hold up to two wheelchairs at a time or a gurney or stretcher. Has your spare tire there. Headliner's in good condition. Rear air controls over there. Uh, between these seats is about 25 and a half inches of room, so most chairs can slide up right in between there. Very clean interior. I'm a non smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any smoke or unusual odors in this van. It does have the dual climate control, rear air controls, uh, plenty of cup holders, cup holders in the doors, cup holders up front there. So when you've got all your passengers secure, come back out. Again, look here, one finger. Very easy to do. And we do give a free set of ratcheting tie downs away with each van to hold one wheelchair. Put everything back. Give the rear door a good slam. And you're ready to roll so great for a, a transport vehicle has the alloy wheels tires have quite a bit of tread left on them they're not brand new but they're uh, they have a whole lot of tread left on them overall the exterior is very clean it does have a few you know minor chips and chips and nicks here i'll try to show you those a few few rock chips up on the hood i mean it's very hard to very hard to see them overall though for the age this is a super clean vehicle I did notice one tiny little door ding here, about the size of a dime. Someone probably got them in the parking lot. But I do try to buy very clean vehicles. I try to buy vehicles that have been well taken care of, that haven't been abused. Our goal is to put good vehicles in the lot, get them sold, move on to the next. I'm not trying to save a buck on a salvage vehicle. I'm not trying to buy something that's been pulled out of a river. Very clean jump seats. Got all four power windows. Got your VIN number there. Very important to see that. It has two keys and two key fobs. It does have the keyless entry. When you go to fire the van up, it fires up first time, every time. No problems with the radio works. Uh, no check engine lights, no airbag, none of that stuff, so that's great. Current miles, 50, just over 51,000. Air conditioner works great. Good thing, because it's super hot and super humid today. Let me pop the hood so you can listen to it run. Underneath the hood, it has a 3.5 V6 engine from Toyota. Very clean, no signs of any damage, no signs of any leaks. We inspect these vehicles very thorough before we buy them. I'm buying from the same perspective you are. Like I said, I don't want anything that's a bunch of trouble. I don't want anything that's been in a major accident. I don't want any salvage titles. I don't want any rebuilt titles. If you take a look under the van, it's not all rusted out. The air conditioner is dripping down there. That's just fine. That's what it's supposed to do very clean you know I've read I've seen a lot of reviews from from some of the competition online um, a lot of people you know they're buying these rusty vans from like north and east they're selling them who no matter who you're buying from check out the reviews see what people are saying about them I'm not gonna sit here and badmouth anybody but I'm also not blind to the facts so you do what you want with that um, you know, always get a video you know you're not gonna spend 20 30 40 thousand dollars are you with, with just a bunch of pictures tell them to get out tell them to make a video if they're not going to get off their behinds and make you a detailed video like this, if they're not going to show you the undercarriage, if they're not going to show it driving, then who are you buying from and what are they trying to sell you? So with that being said, let's get it on the highway so you can hear it run. Okay, the final portion of the video. I always like to get the vans on a test drive so you can hear the engine run and feel the transmission shift. And whether we uh, ship this out to you using our free shipping in the lower 48 states or you come in and drive this home, you know that we've made sure this van is road worthy. This is all stuff that you cannot see in pictures, folks. That's why we make these videos. That's why you should make sure you get a video. Nice acceleration. It's up to about 70 miles an hour, no problems. The steering wheel is nice and straight. It tracks very nice down the highway. I've got the cruise control set at about 63 miles an hour. And I know there's a lot of people out there selling mobility vans. You need to ask yourself about reputation. We have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. That guy must be in a hurry, but that's okay. 
Uh, we got A plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. Look at our ratings online. Look, look at Google. Look what our customers had to say about us. Do the same with our competition. Please, please compare us. Compare our prices. Compare our product. I welcome it. Uh, we don't have any hidden fees. A lot of these dealers have a five hundred dollars. They're going to slap on the end of the deal. Some of them have thousands. Some of them have twelve hundred. I'm going to ask you if they're hiding money from you on the deal. If they say, well, the price is blank, but oh yeah, we're going to add five hundred dollars. If they're hiding money from you, what else are they hiding from you? Something you seriously need to think about. We are very transparent. Our price is what you what you see is what you get. That's the price to get it to your door. So I'm going to give the van a hard break here. No grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise. Sorry, I was grabbing my little water jug over here. Had to keep, make sure he didn't fly off the seat there. So overall, very clean van, whether it be for a business or for your family. I think if this van is taken care of, it should last for many years and many miles to come. Uh, when you're actually comparing this to the competition, once again, I'm out here making these videos. It's almost 100 degrees. I'm out here laying on the pavement as the owner of the company because I want you to know exactly what you're getting. Don't take a guess when you're going to spend twenty or thirty thousand dollars. Know exactly what you're getting. If you do anything less than that, you're asking for trouble. People get burned on the internet every day. Don't be one of them. Which brings me to my last point. I am the owner of the company. I am not a used car salesman. Most of these used car salesmen, they're not even going to be working at this location in another month or two. They're going to move on to the next deal. They don't care if you get the truth. They don't care if you get a good deal. They only care about that commission check. Whereas me, as the owner of the company, I'm going to be here in five years from now. I'm going to be here 10 years from now. If you ever buy no, another mobility van, I want to be the one to sell it to you. I want to develop a re reputation with you. I want to earn your trust. And I will be here a month from now, two months from now, 10 years from now. That's the difference from buying from a used car salesman and buying from the owner of the company. Which would you rather purchase from? So, if you want to see our inventory, please check us out 24 hours a day online at www.mobility316.com. That's mobility316.com. If you ever want to give us a call, please reach out to me anytime. If I don't get to it, please leave a message. But 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. Again, my name is Jeremiah. If you're more of a text messenger, give me a text. 316-518-4377. You now have the owner's cell phone number. Try and get the owner's cell phone number from one of those big companies. Try to even get the, big, the GM's phone number. You now have the owner's cell phone number. So we do have financing available. Let us help you try and get financed. If you have any questions, please give me a call. Or if you ever want to come in and see a vehicle, please always make an appointment. And as always, thank you so much for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. Call me today.